do you have more vodka in your freezer than ice? Then you should read Selective Stories by Anton Chekhov. And before we get to the review, we're going to answer one question. Did I enjoy this read? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey and Wittature, where we read and discuss the greatest books of all time. And while we're turning those pages, we're sipping those bottles, those finely distilled spirits. I'm your host, Captain Mike, and I am reading and reviewing 52 books in 52 weeks in 2023. And this is my 12th book review of the year so far, Selected Stories by Anton Chekhov. And before we get to the book, let's talk about the author. Anton Chekhov, born in 1860, died in 1904 of tuberculosis. He was a Russian playwright and short story author. He was actually a physician by trade, but he began to write short stories as a way to make money and eventually began to innovate and find his own voice and style in his writings. And that's really all I have for Anton Chekhov. And before we get to the book, briefly we're going to talk about the whiskey of the week. This week I'm going to review Redwood Empire, Emerald Giant. And I'm going to compare it to High West Double Rye. And look for that video to drop later this week. Okay, let's talk about the specs and stats of Selected Stories by Anton Chekhov. And there's no original publication date on this book because it is a collection of short stories and not a full-length novel. And these short stories were written between 1883 and 1903. There's a wide variety of stories in here between about four and a half pages and 53 or 54 pages long. And the book itself is 455 pages long. And the copy that I have here was translated by a married couple, Richard Peviar and Larissa Volokonsky. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now to the plot and structure of the book. And I'm going to go ahead and read from the back cover of the book. So the glasses are coming on. I think this is a nice synopsis of what's going on in here. It says, Wildly considered the greatest short story writer of all time, Anton Chekhov changed the genre itself with his spare impressionistic depictions of Russian life and the human condition. From characteristically brief, evocative early pieces such as The Huntsman and The Tour de Force, a boring story, to his best known stories such as the lady with the little dog and his own personal favorite, the student. Chekhov's short fiction possesses the transcendent power of art to awe and change the reader. I think that was a pretty good synopsis of the book and I really enjoyed that. And of the 30 stories that are in this book, there were a few that were duds for me. In fact, the Tour de Force, a boring story, was actually in fact boring to me. I do remember being tired while reading the story or maybe the story may be tired. I'm not really sure which. Some of my favorite stories from this collection were The Huntsman, The Malefactor, Sleepy, Ward Number Six, Rothschild's Fiddle, A Medical Case, The Lady with the Little Dog, and The Fiance. All these stories were to me the best in this collection and there was something about each one of them that struck a chord or a, a nerve with me. Anton Chekhov once said, and I'm going to quote, if you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. It, if, if it's not going to be fired, it shouldn't be hanging there. And I think that's a good way to explain his stories. While there's enough detail in here to make you feel like you're in the story, it is very sparse and spare writing. To me, it's reminiscent of Hemingway and Wolf a skeleton of a story that still manages to move you. Chekhov was a trained physician, but he often worked without recompense and he got inside a lot of the houses of peasants. And because of his exposure to different facets of Russian life, we are treated to stark and I think realistic depictions of what life in 19th century Russia really was like. The main characters in these stories were clergy, doctors, coffin makers, huntsmen, peasant farmers, housewives, landowners, and everyone in between. Let's talk about the story, The Huntsman, which was only four and a half pages long, and I wrote a little brief synopsis on it. 
We meet Igor. He's a hunter walking along the edge of a clearing on the road when he hears a soft voice call his name. He is startled by Pelagea, who had been working in the nearby fields and had seen him. They talk for a bit, she asking him why he doesn't come to the house very often, and him telling her, matter-of-factly, that there's no reason for him to go to the house. He says that he lives at a minor nobleman's house and acts as his hunter. And they argue for a while about the worth of his profession, and she complains that he could at least spend some, some time, or at least one day, at the house, as they've been married for 12 years. He replies that he was tricked into getting married while drunk. She again asks when he'll come home. And he replies, there's no point in me coming to your house. And they say their goodbyes. And she watches him walk away. That is the gist of the story, The Huntsman. And very typical of the stories we find in uh, this collection. They're very short stories with not a lot of detail. But enough description that you do actually feel like you're within the story as well. Little things like Pelagea covering her mouth because she's so ashamed of the joy that she feels when he asks her to sit down next to him. Those little details are what elevate these stories above other ones of the genre and makes them outstanding in my opinion. Okay, so what are my thoughts on Selected Stories by Anton Chekhov? This book is everything, and this is my second collection of stories that I'm reading this year. And this is everything that I wished Borges had been. Earthy, honest, stark, realistic. There's enough length to each of these stories for you really to get into them. But not so long that you're bored by the time it's over or glad that it's over. Except for a boring story. I was actually bored while reading that one. So one of the great things about my reading schedule this year is that I've been exposed to all these cultures and times and different life and experiences through all the reading that I've done. Now, I might be sick of 19th century Russia by the time I get done with Tolstoy and Dostoevsky, but I really appreciate the glimpses and dipping my toe into that era and culture by reading Anton Chekhov's short stories. I do actually prefer to read longer novels than short stories like this, but I think this writing style actually lends itself to really short stories or short novels. I mean, think about Hemingway and Wolf. On to the star rating for selected stories. And I grade all my books on five criteria, six if I listen to it on Audible, and I didn't listen to this book at all on Audible. I turned every page. So let's go through them real quick. Number one, initial response. How did I feel when I finished the book? And I'm going to give it a four because I actually fairly enjoy this read for the most part. And uh, it was pretty good. Number two, recommendation. How likely am I to recommend this book? And I'm only going to give it a three because I really don't know many people who might enjoy this book. Three, writing style. Did I enjoy the style? And I do. Like, again, reminiscent of Hemingway and Wolf, just stark, uh, brief, not a lot of detail and adjectives, but... I think that writing style really lends itself to this kind of story. So I'm going to give it a four. And plot structure, uh, how engaged was I in a story? I'm going to give it a three overall because there were a few stories in there that for me were duds. Um, though overall I enjoyed it. So it's going to get a three. Uh, number four. I'm sorry, five. Characters. Uh, were they realistic, believable, engaging? And I'm going to give it a five. Because most of the characters in here I really enjoyed and I really felt like I was right there with them. Very believable and realistic. So, okay, that's a 19. And 19 divided by 5 is 3.8. So, 3.8 stars for Selected Stories by Anton Chekhov. If you enjoyed the video, like it. It's free. To see more of my content, subscribe. I hope you're reading something good and drinking something great. Turn those pages, my friends, and stay thirsty.